Ceremonial lifting ng kauna-unahang precast segment para sa itinatayong elevated rail line ng PNR Clark Phase 1, pinangunahan ng PNR. Construction update sa PNR Clark Phase 1 project, panuorin at alamin. Amid a current pandemic and a string of natural calamities, the Department of Transportation and the Philippine National Railways remain focused and determined to push for mass transport infrastructure solutions that will greatly benefit the Filipino people in the long term. Just last Wednesday, November 18, the PNR presented another breakthrough in its game-changing Clark Phase 1 project of the massive North-South Commuter Railway Program with a ceremonial lifting of its first precast segment led by PNR General Manager June Magno and Assistant General Manager Attorney Celeste Lauta. The precast segment or girder, one of the main components of the rail line construction, is an engineering masterpiece designed and patterned after international railway construction guidelines. Approximately 12 to 15 of this precast segment will encompass the peer-to-peer -peer viaduct of the elevated rail line of the PNR Clark Phase 1. The PNR Clark Phase 1 project is a 38-kilometer rail line that will connect Tutuban, Manila to Malolos, Bulacan. When completed, this modern mass transport system is expected to serve 300,000 passengers daily and greatly reduce travel time from approximately an hour and 30 minutes to just 35 minutes. The PNR Clark Phase 1 is expected to commence partial operations in the fourth quarter of 2021. Meanwhile, its full operations is expected in the second quarter of 2024. PNR Clark Phase 1 will integrate with PNR Clark Phase 2, Malolos to Clark, and PNR Calamba, forming the North to South Mega Commuter Railway, one of the biggest infrastructure projects under the massive Build 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 program of the Duterte administration. To recall, the project was originally conceptualized in the 1990s, but due to disagreements and a host of other issues, the project has been put at the back burner. The NCSR Mega Commuter Railway project is a mammoth 148-kilometer route length rail line with 37 stations, 464 train cars, and an estimated 830,000 passenger capacity per day once fully operational. The North-South Commuter Railway Project is a 148-kilometer railway that will connect Metro Manila, Region 3, and Region 4. It is composed of different phases. The PNR Clark Phase 1 is a 38-kilometer railway slated for partial operations during the fourth quarter of 2021. It aims to reduce travel time between Manila and Bulacan from 1 hour and 30 minutes to just 35 minutes. The PNR Clark Phase 2 is a 54-kilometer railway targeted to be partially operable by the second quarter of 2023. It aims to reduce travel time between Malolos and Clark from 1 hour and 30 minutes to merely 35 minutes. The PNR Calamba is a 56-kilometer railway line. Its partial operations is targeted by the second quarter of 2025. PNR Calamba will cut travel time between Manila and Laguna from 3 hours to just 1 hour. The Metro Manila Subway The first subway system in the country is 35 km long. It is targeted for partial operations by first quarter of 2022. This aims to reduce travel time between Quezon City and Naia Terminal 3 from 1 hour and 10 minutes to just 45 minutes. Next is the LRT Line 1 Cavita Extension. Its partial operations is set by the fourth quarter of 2021. 
It aims to reduce travel time between Baklaran to Bacoor from 1 hour and 10 minutes to merely 25 minutes. The LRT Line 2 East Extension Project will extend LRT 2 for 3.794 kilometers. It will become fully operational by April 2021. It will cut travel time between Manila to Antipolo from 3 hours to just 40 minutes. Another massive project is the MRT3 Rehabilitation. It aims to increase the number of running trains from 15 to 20. It also works to increase the operating speed of the MRT3 from 30 km per hour to 60 km per hour, cutting passenger waiting time from 7 minutes to 3.5 minutes. It will be completed in July 2021. Our Japanese partner has been lending support to the Philippine Railways Institute or PRI, which was established by virtue of Executive Order No. 96 on November 21, 2019. The PRI expects its train simulators to be delivered during the first quarter of 2022. PRI signed a Memorandum of Agreement with the Commission on Higher Education on October 22 for recognition of PRI certificate courses for university academic units. 188 trainees were issued with certificates of competencies for railway operations and maintenance. Given the rapidly growing traffic congestion in Manila and the increasing desire for live, work, and play communities, a transit-oriented development will be embarked in the Tutuban Station area. Passengers will soon be able to easily transfer on foot to LRT Line 2 and vice versa, and new urban residential and commercial developments will be built within this 20-hectare historic property. The Tutuban Station area will see a widening of key roads in the Gupan Street and its surrounding, and a property development which will feature a multi-story commercial complex integrated with North-South Commuter Railway and LRT2, a public space with landmark facility and commercial complex surrounded by green space, and a mixed-use residential and commercial zone. The ground floor of the station will be utilized as jeepney boarding or alighting, and commercial area will contribute to mitigate the traffic congestion along Claro M. Recto Avenue, as well as to meet the demands of affected street vendors by the construction of LRT Line 2 station. Once North-South Commuter Railway project opens, greater opportunities open up to people. It would be more convenient and comfortable to students, employees, and businessmen to travel to Manila without hassles or delays but also to easily access the burgeoning business and job opportunities in the country's capital. It will be the game changer. The North-South Commuter Railway Project, building sustainable transport and better economy. What do you think about the update of the PNR Clark Phase 1 project? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell.